Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, today I am doing a hair tutorial which I have not done in a while but I really really want to start getting back into. So make sure if this is the first time that you have ever seen me on your screen, subscribe below. I don't just make hair tutorials as well, I make vlogs and other sorts of videos so I'm sure you'll really enjoy my content. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as well. Let's see how many thumbs up we can get to on this video. So today, I was very kindly sent by Hans de Fuco their Claymation, which is one of my favorite products actually. So it's really great that I can now make a video for you showing you reviewing this product. So if you don't know who Hans de Fuco are, they are a really, really great hair brand. I really love their products. They were founded in San Francisco in California and all of their products are made in the USA. And the thing that I love about their products, as you can find with a lot of high-end hair brands, but these in particular, they're made with 100% organic like materials and things. Basically everything in this pot is organic and made properly and it's good for your hair. Honestly, I cannot stress enough. When I wash this out, it doesn't feel like I've had gunk and crap in my hair. It honestly feels like it's washing out and it's been conditioned and feels really, really nice, which is what I love about these products in particular. So, as I said, the product that I'm going to be using, which I was very kindly sent, is the Claymation. So, as it says on the pot, it has a super high hold and a matte finish, which I love. I normally wear matte products. Dropping it. I usually do a hairstyle where my hair ends up being matte anyway, so it's a really great product. I like matte. This is the hairstyle that we're going for today, so if you want to find out how to do this, carry on watching the video. Also, make sure you watch to the end of this video because at the end, I will be mentioning a code which you can use on the Hans Fuka website to get 10% off of your order, so stay tuned for that. And I think it's about time we got on with the video and worked out how to get this on your head. Mm -hmm. Gambling with natural light is a very dangerous game to play. So, as you can see, I have just washed and conditioned my hair, so it's all prepped and ready for the style that we are going to do. Don't mind me, just coming through with the mirror. Okay. Oh look! What a kawinky dink! So the first thing I'm going to do is just start off with a bit of salt spray, just spritz in all over, just to add a little bit of extra volume. So as this product says it has super high hold and matte finish, I'm just going to be doing my hair how I style it every day, so my everyday hair sort of style after I've got it cut, because I got it cut really just recently as well, so this is how I'm wearing my hair at the moment, and so it just gives you a good insight into how this product will just fit into my daily hair routine. Over back to the hairdryer. So once you've got all the salt spray in there, I'm just gonna go through it with the hairdryer, and you want to really if you have one, get one of these round brushes. Now, I need to get another one because this one, the bristles are too fine on it and my hair ends up getting stuck and I have to untangle it. I will try and use it, see if it's any better today, but I reckon that will be what happens. So if that is the case, I'm just gonna have to use this hair dryer. Uh, hair dryer. Hairbrush. Don't laugh. <laughs> this is what I have to put up with when filming. Oh, one thing that I should just mention as well, as I always do, is make sure you dry your hair in the direction that you want to style it. That's kind of a given thing though, isn't it? Okay, as you can see, my hair is absolutely wild now. It's got so much volume in it, and that's thanks to the salt spray and the round brush, which actually decided to work for me today, which is a miracle. Obviously, when I get in front of the camera, it decides to behave. Also, at the end there, you might have seen, I just switched on the hairdryer to the cold setting and just went through all one last time just to set my hair, which is a tip which I got from one of my friends, Lewis, who also makes hair tutorials, so go check his channel out. We've also got some collabs in the lineup fairly soon, so look out for those. Anyway, now that I've got loads and loads of volume in my hair, which is what I love, I am gonna start applying the product. So as I said before, it's a super high hold and a matte finish, this product, and it also smells really good. Like, it's not like a really, really fruity smell or anything. It is, um, 
almost how I would imagine clay to smell, but like nice. If that makes sense, that's how I describe it anyway. I'm not very good with describing scents. So I'm actually growing my hair out on top at the moment. Like I keep getting the sides cut nice and tailored, but I'm growing it out on top. So it does get a bit wild and difficult to manage sometimes, but this product is actually really good for it. So we're gonna go through. You don't want too much. These products are really, really concentrated. They're really, really, really good. And a little bit goes a really long way. They have a really good hold, as they say. So you really don't need much. Now. This rule does vary a little bit depending on what your hair is like. My hair is so thick and almost absorbs products as soon as you put it in. So I do tend to have to use a little bit more than most people would. So just play with it, see how it goes. And if you add a little bit more, then it's better than adding too much to begin with. Ah, the sun's gonna play with us now. What do you do? Right, so you just wanna get it on your palm and then using your fingertips, rub it into your hands. And you really wanna really, really, really get it in. You sort of warm it up until it's all spread around and you almost can't see it anymore and it really activates the product. Then using your fingers you're just going to enter it from the roots first to get as much texture in there as possible and as much hold rather than just going over because it will just hold it in a big clump on the top of your hair and it won't give it any hold whatsoever. You need to make sure you get it into the roots so that's what I'm going to do. Now, as I said, I'm in the middle of growing my hair out at the moment, so it's sort of in that annoying intermediate stage at the moment. So this little bit here, I sort of have to play with a bit. Eventually, I'll be able to smooth it all back like that, like an undercut, which is what I'm aiming for. But at the moment, because that's not quite possible yet, I sort of have to just play around with this little area. So if you are growing your hair out as well, just bear in mind that sometimes you sort of have to adapt your style just to to those intermediate stages. And so there we have the finished look. Now, as I say, my hair is just the way I style it at the moment, so it might differ for you. If you've got an undercut, you can go all the way over. If you just have like short back and sides and just a little quiff at the front, again, similar process. It's a really adaptable product. I really like it. It does have amazing hold. You can use hairspray to finish it off if you want. If you feel like your hair does need that extra bit of hold, maybe if your hair is really much longer, then you might just need a little bit. But to be honest, this product is really good. It really doesn't need it. I wouldn't use it personally. Because, as I said with some products, they just get absorbed into your hair and sort of you can't do anything with it for the rest of the day. This does not do that at all. It will stay there as it is and you can play with your hair, rework it all day and it really lasts all day long. So there we have it. My everyday hairstyle using the Hans de Fuku Claymation, which I have to say as well is one of my favourite products. I have used it before and I was really grateful that Hans de Fuku sent it to me so that I can make a video with it and I just really, really love it. It is one of my all-time favourite products. So go and find it if you can. I'll link the Hans de Fuku website below and go and grab some. Also, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you do decide to go and get some off of the Hans de Fuku website, make sure at the checkout you use the code YTGYM. Oh, I said it wrong. Use the code YTGYM and that'll give you 10% off your whole order off of their website. So go and grab some now. If you want to look around looking like the bee's knees and looking like a million dollars, these are the products for you because did you know that famous celebrities such as David Beckham also use these products, which I did not know either. So I now feel really special that I have this in my house because I can walk around the streets thinking, yep, yeah, my hair's as good as David Beckham's. Also, one of the biggest tips I think that I can give you when doing any hairstyle, whenever you're styling your hair, is that it's not necessarily the way that you do it. It's all up in here. So what I mean by this is that you are your own worst critic. I am a, a major culprit for this. I could literally stand in front of a mirror, doing it all day, spending all day, saying, oh no, it's not looking perfect yet. It doesn't look how I want it to yet. Whereas if you just stop then there, 
someone else might look at it and think, you know what, that looks like a million dollars. It looks like a professional hairstylist has done it. Whereas you are looking at it yourself like, oh no, there's a hair strand there. Just go with it. Your hair probably looks really, really, really good. And stop playing with it. Just leave it as it is. That's one of my top tips. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope it gave you some ideas of what you can do with your hair and I hope it maybe brought to light some new products that you could try out as well. As always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and share it on your social media so that other people can see that. That'll be a really, really, really big help for me. And if you have any questions, as always, make sure you tweet me, Snapchat me, comment below, any of that malarkey. All of my social media and things are linked below, so go and check me out, follow me, tweet me, at me. Anyway, thank you for watching this video guys, stay tuned for more hair tutorials, I've got a few lined up as well, and also more videos. My channel, I just want to pop in 2017, I can really, really feel it, so let's do this together. Anyway, that's all for me today guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.